The United Auto Workers Union has once again expanded its strike against the big three U.S. automakers. Thousands more auto workers joined the picket lines, but none from here in Texas. Stephen Dial with our sister station in Dallas has more. It's the war of the working class versus corporate greed. Friday morning, Sean Fain, the national president for the United Auto Workers Union, announced the next expansion in its nationwide strike. That's why I'm calling on an additional 7,000 members across Ford and GM to go on strike. The strike includes thousands of workers for what's known as the Big Three, GM, Ford, and Stellantis, which owns Chrysler and related brands. UAW is calling for a 40% increase in pay over the next four years, among other increased benefits. Last week, Arlington GM workers rallied in support of their union members around the country. Arlington was not added to the list of those on strike. Instead, workers at the Ford plant in Chicago and the GM plant in Lansing, Michigan started striking. Our cause is just. Striking for a better future to protect our communities and to defeat corporate greed is not just our right, it's our duty. The CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, accused the union of holding an agreement hostage with unreasonable demands at future battery plants for electric vehicles. Demands he says would make Ford's far more expensive than Tesla's and other competitors. Dozens of workers at GM Park facility in Roanoke, north of Fort Worth, and union employees at Stellantis Parts Distribution Center in Carrollton are on strike. Fain announced they would not add any more Stellantis workers, citing some progress at the negotiation table. Stellantis made significant progress on the 2009 cost of living allowance, the right not to cross a picket line, as well as the right to strike over product commitments and plant closures and outsourcing moratoriums. We are excited about this momentum at Stellantis and hope it continues.